University lecturers converged in Colombo this afternoon for a protest march under the theme opposing the government's unfair tax regime and burdensome budget. The march commenced from the University of Visual and Performing Arts and moved towards the University Grants Commission. <laughs> A proposal containing tax amendments prepared by Federation of University Teachers Associations was handed over to the UGC. Those who rely purely on their remuneration must directly benefit through these. But these taxes do not benefit the people in such a way. We will not allow taxes to be charged. We will protect our salary in January. We are willing to pay taxes, but these taxes are unfair. We challenge the government. Try and tax our salaries. Protests were held at multiple state universities across the island in line with the protest organized by FUTA. <laughs> Lecturers of the Peradeniu University who marched from the university premises to the Galaha Junction engaged in a silent protest thereafter. We are against a tax regime which is merely a band-aid on a collapsing economy. A new tax regime is being introduced at a time when there are many concerns about the squandering of public funds by state politicians. We need an assurance that these tax funds will be channeled to support sectors like health, education and to uplift the living standards of the suffering masses. Lecturers attached to the Eastern University also engaged in a protest opposite the premises. According to FUTA, academic activities of all universities in the country were disrupted as a result of the token strike. Our correspondent noted examinations which were only announced previously were held at the University of Peradeniya. According to Sri Lanka's financial regulations, a person's financial capacity is assessed when a loan is given. We can get 60% of our salary as a loan. 36% is taxed from the 40% saved to spend. Rane Vikramasinghe is carrying out a contract. He is merely pleasing the 134 people who appointed him. According to the amendments made to the Inland Revenue Act, a decision was made to tax income above 100,000 rupees from 6 to 36%. This will come into effect from January 2023.